one of the big things with candles, regardless of the type of candle, is that first burn. You want to make sure that that wax pool reaches all the way to the edge, otherwise what happens is your candle actually has a memory and subsequent burns will just continue to burn the melt pool that was established from the first burn. For our big um, 14 ounce tins, that'll be three to four hours. So we always caution you, if you're gonna burn your candle and for 15 minutes and blow it out, please don't burn it. Wait until you have an extended period of time where you can sit and enjoy it and it can burn all the way to the edge. Yep. We wanna make sure your wicks are trimmed so any subsequent burns snap off the little charring. The veining of the wick actually allows the wax and essential oils to come up into the flame. If you don't burn all the way to the outer edge and rim, don't play with the candle. Don't try and tip it off to the side and pour out wax. That doesn't help. We see so, that a lot in our customer see that a service lot, tickets. And it just makes the problem worse. Snap the wick and just let the candle burn for a longer period of time. After that first burn, it is recommended only burn your candle two to three hours. The larger candles, of course, they're larger so they can burn longer. But the small candles, if you burn them too long, what actually happens is it liquefies more of the candle and speeds up the burn. So a candle that might get 20 to 25 hours, if it's burned two or three times at full capacity, and it might only last 10 to 15 hours. So there actually is a lot of care that goes into properly burning a candle. So one of the big safety pieces with candles is ensuring that it's always on a heat safe surface. We do have a little metal retention clip that prevents you burning all of the wax out of the candle. There is a quarter of an inch of wax left and that is for your safety. Sustainability is very important to us as a company. Um, that's why we use uh, all items that can be recycled. So when you're done with your candle, you can clean out the remaining uh, bit of wax and please do recycle. Don't burn your candle unattended. Make sure that it's always in sight. Make sure there's nothing over it had some people that are burning their candles and bookshelves and don't put anything burning underneath something that burns. If you have animals, keep them away as well, especially cats who like to climb. And small children. And small children who like to pull things off of cabinets. See the warning label at the bottom of every candle. That should be pretty industry standard. 